Well, uh, our next speaker is our very own Mr. C.S. Ghosh, who was past president of this Bengal Chamber of Commerce too, MD and CEO of Bandhan Bank Limited. Uh, he will talk on India's leaps towards five trillion economy, challenges and opportunities. We are all waiting to hear from you, Mr. Shows. Good afternoon to all. Thank you, BCCI, to give this opportunity to talk in front of very highly uh, galaxy of the speaker in here and in front of Sri Sanjeev Channel, I will like to speak about it. It is very tough for me, but I will give my some of the point which may be like to very publicly people know, but some point we will be like to mention what banking industry of India are doing good for this the five trillion dollar economy. India today is a fifth largest economy in the world. And we know that it has been grown from 11th largest economy the last decade. We have been tried and reached in here. Most global agencies, including IMF, World Bank, has predicted the Indian economy to be one of the fastest growing economy in the world for the country current fiscal year. The Indian government has implemented a serious series of economic reforms over the past few years to attract foreign investment, improve infrastructures and promote entrepreneurship. These reforms have led to a increase in foreign investment and improved economic growth. India was recently included in the JP Morgan Emerging Market Debt Index, which will have a far reaching impact in terms of our FII inflows of about 22 billion US dollar to 30 billion US dollar in our country. This will not only bring down the country's cost of borrowing, but also support our countries and help improve sovereign rating. The trillion economy comprises measures like focusing on inclusive growth, promoting the digital economy, fintech, technology enabled development, energy transitions and climate action. Reforms like the goods and service tax like the GST, IBC, a significant reduction in the corporate tax rate, the Make in India and Startup India strategies and production linked incentive scheme, among others, will help reach the destination. India's capital expenditure has risen from 32% to 34% 22-23. The authorities promote export-oriented sectors such as manufacturing, services, and agriculture by providing incentives, subsidies, tax breaks, and infrastructure support. The government efforts to pursue trade agreement with strategic partners can potentially further propel the nation towards the 5 trillion target. However, inflations continue to remain a major challenge of our country. Comparatively to the world other countries, we are in the better position in inflation. The recent number shows that there is a some moderation from the recent highs, but we need to see the sustainability blow this level. Most international agencies expect that with the monsoon 
and action taken by various authorities will see decent moderation in inflation levels. However, the global situation, including all prices, continues to pose big challenges for all of us back to home. One of the strengths that India currently has is that the corporate balance sheet are quite heavy and the leverage is very low. Healthy balance sheet of banks and corporate are engendering a new credit and investment cycle, strong revenue growth, higher profits and lower deliveries are helping corporate to improve their bottom lines. Today, we can say the financial system in the nerve of all our economy actively of the country. The global financial system has been impacted by significant strains since early March 23 from the banking turmoil in the US and Europe, which we know all. With problems being seen in the international banks like Silicon Valley banks, credit swing, among others. However, the financial sector in India has been stable and resilient. As reflected in sustained growth in banking credit, low level of non-performing asset and adequate capital and liquidity buffers. The banking sector should strengthen the financial sector by resolving the problem of non-performing assets, which is called the NPA, recapitalizing the public sector banks, improving governance and regulations, and encouraging the financial inclusion and innovations. Gross and net NPA, we know about it. It has come down in March 2023, 3.9% in gross and net NPA has come down 1%, which is very much comfortable to the banking industry. Indian banks are well capitalized as well. From an average of 12% capitalized, we called it the capital adequacy ratio in 12, 2012, 13% in 2018, but today it has come to this 17%. Our country's foreign exchange reserve have risen from slightly above 400 billion US dollar in 2018, which is now has come 600 billion US dollar. This is a very recent number. In 2022-23, the total digital payments recorded growth 57.8% and 19.2% in volume. If we see that the, the which was in the last year 63.8% and 23.1%. UPI India's contactless digital framework crossed a 10 billion monthly transaction in the month of August 2023. Some of the steps authorities and the industry need to look for further improvement in the overall scenarios also need to be looked upon. India needs to work on boosting consumption and investment demand. We can look and diversifying the bond market, the insurance market and the pension market, which can provide long term finance for infrastructure and social security for the elderly. One needs to look at the easy of doing business for corporates, which can bring future capex to our country. The major boost to the growth in the economy will come from rural and semi-urban India. Policies and programs need to be designed to enable these geographies to become self-sustaining and the growing. It's also helped our country to employment the gener employment generation. Policies and efforts 
forms the various quarters need to help in bringing in income polarization in the country. In conclusion, the growth of India is necessary for the world to show stable growth. We are well on our path to becoming a 5 trillion US dollar economy. One need to look at inclusive growth to achieve a 5 trillion economy. Thank you to all of you. Give this chance. Thank you.